All right, guys, so let's make a thumbnail. The program that I'm using is Krita. This is my project manager. I'll come to this particular file here. So this is just sort of a base picture that I use for most of my thumbnails. Picture of me with my hand out and I place my fragrance right here. And I'll typically place some over here just to add a better aesthetic. We'll come up here to the top to layer. We'll go to import, import layer. We'll select this image right here. As you can see over here, it dropped down under this layer here. So we want this to be on top. So we'll push this layer up. Head over to the left hand side and we'll select our transform option. We're going to head back over here and we're going to go ahead and turn off these layers that are under it. So we're only working with this layer on top. Now we'll come over here to this side and we'll select this tool here. This is the uh, Bezier curve selection tool. And we're going to go ahead and select points across the entire contour of this bottle. We'll left click and you'll just select points and you'll carefully go around the entire contour. You can zoom in to be a get bit more precision. Make sure you get a good clean cut. Zoom back out and adjust as needed. We'll come along the top side, come along down the other side here. Zoom back out just to check everything and make sure everything is good. Continue down the side here, down towards the bottom here. And we're reaching the end and you're going to make sure you touch that starting point again and that is complete so what you want to do is you want to invert your selection to select this full outer layer so it'll be control shift i that's going to invert the selection and then you'll press delete and now all we have is this gorgeous bottle turn our turn on our layers again and there you have it so what we're going to do, since this is a darker style bottle, we're going to go with a darker background. So we'll select our layer over here. We'll come and select the paint bucket tool or the fill in tool. And we'll come to our color selector and select the color black. Actually, what we'll do is we'll come here to our color selector and we'll pick a darker purple off of that particular object and then we'll come over here to our color editor here and sort of darken it just a little bit grab our fill in tool make sure we're on the right layer and we'll click that a couple of times to make sure it fills in all those outlines come to our layer and we are going to select the bottle layer select our transform layer tool and we'll bring that over now we ended up making uh, a little bit of a, a whoopsie there. So we'll just come back to our fill in tool and just fill in those spots there. We'll come back to our bottle layer and just make sure it's lined up correctly. Uh, make sure it's the right size that we need. I want it sitting about right here in the middle of the palm of my hand. And then what I'll do is I'll actually hit control and J. We'll hit that about three times. One two three so on the side here i have a few copies of that exact same bottle that showed up drop down to the next copy and then i'll grab my transform tool over here click this and i have an exact same copy of that bottle and i'll place it roughly around there and i'm going to drop it down below my layer of you know of me then we'll grab the second copy here and we'll grab it and we'll slightly turn it. And we'll set that towards the middle there. And then we'll grab another copy and we're gonna turn it just a little further and set it roughly around here. Just give it a little bit of a, a difference. So this bottle here is under the hand this bottle here is over it and this bottle here is right above it. Also, what I would like to do is take that same color, that purple color palette, and we'll come just a little bit lighter. We'll grab our brush tool and we'll come down here to our brush presets. And I'll select this one here, sort of like a splatter effect. Make sure the opacity is up. Turn the size to about 640 and I'll come to the very top layer so I can come right on top of all of these and just give it just a little bit of that 
I'll come just a little bit lighter. Actually, we'll back back this up and we'll come a little bit lighter. Not bad. We're going to drag this down and just get a tad bit lighter than that. And we'll just come from the bottom, making a slight splash up. That's perfect. What I would actually like in the actual background layer, what that purple is, is to create somewhat of a, a gradient. So we'll come back there on that layer. Something just like that. We can actually go a little darker. So we'll select this and we'll come back with this here. And just make it just a tad bit darker. I like that. It has a lot of movement, a lot of things going on. Very clean sort of design and, and the way it feels. So right behind this, I actually want to go with some gold. So we'll select that. And I want to come right behind this bottle. So we'll select the layer with me on it. And just real lightly, we'll just tap. Tap our left key. And it'll just add just a little bit of light and shine right behind that bottle. And there you have it. Now, if I wanted to, I can go just a little lighter. Turn the opacity up. Oh, actually, it's all the way up. And I could lower the size. That way I can kind of come right towards that edge and create just a little bit more brightness just right outside of that contour of that bottle. And there you have it. Well, that's my thumbnail. That is the way that I create my thumbnails as of lately, just to give it a bit more movement, a little bit more pizzazz, uh, makes it look a bit more high def and a little bit more, uh, a little bit more life. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Peace.